Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do talking coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do the Elite Code Premium problems on my Patreon. And uh, you can join my Discord, reach out to me, try and get back to everyone. This problem is called Assigned Cookies. It's a pretty easy problem. Uh, assume you are an awesome parent, your awesome parent, who wants to give your children some cookies. Alright. Uh, but you should give each child at most one cookie. Okay. Each child I has agreed factor G of I, which is the minimum size of a cookie that the child will be content with. And each cookie J has a size of S of J, where if S of J is greater than or equal to G of I, we can assign the cookie J to the child I, and the child I will be content. Your goal is to maximize the number of your content children, and I'll put the maximum number. Okay, what this means is... We're given an array. These are the greed factors, and these are the, um, you know, uh, sizes of the cookies. So we have a bunch of cookies. We have an array of cookies, and then we have an array of children. And the children won't be happy. Like, they're going to, like, cry or something, like, you know, get mad or throw a temper tantrum or something if they don't get at least whatever the uh, greed factor is. So we have three children. This is the array of children. In this case, this is the array of children, so it, the sizes don't have to be like certain sizes or anything. Um, these also are not guaranteed to be sorted, I'm pretty sure. Um, and um, yeah, so we could see what is the minimum, um, what is the maximum uh, number of content children we can get with the cookie sizes we have. So you know, one cho- one person's going to be happy with one cookie, so we could give one you know, cookie of size one to this person, and they're going to be happy. We can't really make these other people happy. I mean, we could combine both these ones and then make this kid happy because one plus one is two. You know, you give him two cookies, each size one, he's happy with that. But it's still just one children, so we might as well just give it to this kid, so it doesn't matter what we do, but the max is one. Um, In this case, we have one, two, three cookies, and we have two children, And if we look, we can give the first kid this cookie because he wants that exact size. He'll be happy with it. And we can give the second kid this cookie. You know, he'll be happy with that. And then the third kid, you know, there is no third kid. So we just output two because that's the max number of children. So how do we solve this problem? I mean, there's a few ways to solve it. They're all pretty lame, honestly. If we loop through, so I guess here's the worst way. Brute force is... Okay, look through. Look at the sizes. So you're looping through the si- the size, the greed factors, and say, okay, this kid needs a cookie size one. Then you loop through this whole array and try and find a cookie size one, and then um, you repeat that process for each greed factor or whatever. So that's you know a pretty crap solution. But I think the best solution is to make sure the arrays are sorted at the beginning. And if the arrays are sorted, which they're not guaranteed to be sorted in this problem it would say that they're sorted. Um, Then we can just loop through with two pointers, do a two-pointer approach, loop through each the greed factors and the sizes at the same time, and then just if the greed factor requires a bigger size, just increment the um, pointer for the cookie sizes until you find a cookie big enough to give to the greed factor because you know it'll be the smallest one. So... Uh, let's just start doing it. Yeah, just sort both the arrays. So you sort the greed factors. You sort the sizes of the cookies. You set up your pointers. So we'll give uh, A pointer is equal to zero. B pointer is equal to zero. And then we'll do while A pointer is going to be looping through the uh, children and the greed factors. So while it's less than G dot length. And um, B pointer is less than... Um, S dot length because that's the one that's going to be looping through the cookies. If the greed factor at the current index, so this is the smallest, it, we're sorting them, so we're going at the beginning, so the smallest possible greed factors are at the beginning. So that's the best way to optimize the maximum kids because we want the smallest greed factors because then our cookie sizes, you know, we can. Um, that's the best way to optimize it is the small you don't want to go from the back if we started with three you know we're screwed we can't even give you know in this case if it was just a three you know we couldn't even satisfy a three with what we have so we want to start at the beginning 
of a sorted array. So we have the smallest uh, greed factors. This problem is funny because it like deals with greed and it's like a greedy algorithm kind of approach where you're kind of going with the best possible scenario at the, each current step. Um, so, okay, if the current greed is less than the current size that we're at, so size of B pointer, well, then we're good. Like, we have the correct size of a cookie to satisfy this kid, so we can just increment both pointers. And, uh, yeah, we're good. We can just keep moving through the array. And if it is not, if we need a bigger cookie, we'll just increment the B pointer because it's sorted, so incrementing the B pointer will get us to a bigger cookie until we hit this condition. And when we get to the end, by the end of this, we will, A pointer will increment um, to give us the maximum number of children we can satisfy. So you just return a pointer. And it's uh, an n log n approach, because of course sorting is uh, n log n. But uh, then it's just a linear loop after that, so that doesn't affect the runtime. Um, so it's a pretty good solution. It's just, uh, you know, one of those things. Sometimes you have a problem and it's just like, oh, I should just sort here. Like you just got to know when to sort. And this is a perfect scenario of knowing when to sort. Because you want the smallest uh, greed factors. And then this is just an easy two-pointer approach. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I think it's pretty straightforward. This, um, If you want to know how this A pointer is what we return, it's incrementing the maximum size because, like I said, the smallest greed factors are at the beginning. And we're looping through. And if we satisfy a greed factor, we increment A pointer only if we satisfy it. The B pointer... You know, the world's going through all the cookies, they're doing all the work, but satisfying the children is where we, you know, that's once we have one satisfied kid, it's going to increment this. So whenever we have a satisfied kid, that's like adding one. It's not only incrementing the in the array, but it's also giving us the number of children that are satisfied uh, with their cookies. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, pretty decent problem, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, haven't been po I didn't post today that much, so I wanted to make a video because, you know, I was editing a lot today. I'm at posting one of those, like, longer edited videos, trying to get good at those, too. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.